this is dark side which is technically not a licensed product by 108 toys waited for almost a year for this when it first was on pre-order it was named as death god now it's good that they use the name dark side even though they don't have the license to name that uh, this is a figure based on the Z Zack Snyder uh, Justice League. So this comes with a slipcase. And as you can see, this is the back. It says Dark Side by 108 Toys. And a really good picture of Dark Side. Um, so it's taped up. I will open it and see what's inside um, doesn't even say that it's a it says adult collectible not a toy for ages 15 and up um, I have the Steppenwolf from the We Done Cut and the other Steppenwolf from the Snyder Cut coming but I guess the We Done Cut Steppenwolf would be arriving first which is soon. So we'll open this up and take a closer inspection. And my little boy just wanted to be in the video again because it's he's been complained that he has not been in any of the videos lately. Right? Yeah. So say hi to everybody. Hi. Thank you for watching and um, we'll take a closer video of it. This is a little different. I'm just using my son's uh, table in his playroom to make this video so this uh figure from 108 toy comes in a different uh type of packaging it's actually molded uh foam with cutouts so this is the figure of dark side so it has this really nice detail paint should could have been better but uh, what can you expect? It's pretty good for a third-party figure. Would have been nicer for it to be, you know, um, if they made this into um, a lighter fe feature instead of uh, just painted orange. So on the other end is this one. And there's dark side. It comes with um, two other pair of hands. This one, close fist. And what he has on right now are relaxed hands, open hands. So comes with two hands to grip. Mm, really good pretty good though for a third party figure and this is a close fist which I don't really find useful um, pretty light pretty pretty light for his size it's pretty light so it comes with two extra, oh, uh, not two extra, two head sculpts. This is the first head sculpt. The material is pretty light. So that's the first head sculpt. Yep, that's dark side the Snyder Cut and this is the other head sculpt that's attached to it right now yeah, there's weight to it there's a uh, weight to it so that's the other head sculpt Would have been better if it was a light up feature but for a third party figure and for the size 
It's pretty good. Let's try to stand him up. I'll try to remove the uh, armor and we'll go from there. So to remove the armor, this is just magnetic. All you need to do is just remove that. And remove the back piece. And there's Uxas, which is dark side before he became dark side. There's that mm, dent on the chest area, same as the movie. This is the cut he sustained for, from fighting the old gods of Earth. And this is also detachable. A forearm plate. Would it be nicer if the, they made it a little bit shinier and purplish? You can also you can also remove this. I guess you have to remove the leg first and remove you know remove that. But he's pretty skinny without the armor. You know, um arm compared to the chest is not really proportioned. Um there's also that big gap around the waist area where the armor is, so it's really good to display him with the armor. And the, um, it's pretty wobbly. So you can bend his uh, shoulder as well. So I guess proportion wise, not really that great. And let's do the articulation. So for articulation, you can move the shoulders. Uh, for the elbow, you can bend it. You can move it as well. Pretty good. Would have been nicer if it was a um, um, seamless elbow for the and you can move it in and out that as well as this one uh, for the thigh it's kind of limited only you can move it this way and up to that part that's it for the knee you can bend it all the way there can also twist the knee which is weird because you can turn it 360 would have been better if this had more articulation than that for the um, ankle it's just up to that um, the joints are not too tight but overall pretty good for a third party figure so to remove the head I guess you just have to pull that Oh, it's, it is a light up feature. I was wrong. So there's a battery there that you can put on. Let's see if there's a battery right now. Oh, yeah, there is. See? There's actually a light up feature. I was wrong. There we go. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually happy with this. So, to put the armor back on, well, let's talk about the armor. Like I said, it would have been better if it was shinier. And, you know, you can see the purple hue on it when, like, in the movies. But, still really good. And the back armor, the back armor is more of a purple shoe at the... 
at an angle. Would have been good if this was a separate piece because I think there was a scene where uh, he still has this top part as the armor. You can see the, um, what do you call this? I guess where when they meet this, you can still see the uh, mold part. Overall, I'm still happy with this figure. So to put this armor back, just have to wiggle it on. There we go. And then put that armor back. And that's it. I guess to remove the handle, I'll have to display him with the um, weapon on. To remove the hand, you just pull it like that. And I, be, I believe I will display him with this one in one open hand. Kind of difficult to put back on. There, you just really need to hear the pop. Well, that's dark side. So, this is the armor for the forearm. Just have to put it back like this. Same as the other one. Uh, maybe drive it the other way. Maybe this one goes over here. There, that's way better. Mm -hmm. And there's dark side again. So I'll take more pictures of it in a 360 view. And this one can go on here. Like I said, he's really wobbly, really, really wobbly. Well, anyway, I'll just put this in a bit on. Okay, there we go. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. And you can still find this available um, some sites. <laughs>